Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, all that information is in the description box along with lives that I will be doing and courses that I have at Gumroad. So go check those out. I have some writing up at Substack as well. I'm putting out um, little by little a novel that I've already written, but I want to go back through and just kind of rewrite it a little bit and then put it chapter out by chapter. Okay. So we have the wheel. <laughs> this keeps coming up too. The number is 10. We're done. We're done. Okay. We're, we're moving on. Archangel Jeremiah. This is, Jeremiah is all about life review. So stopping and looking and waking up and going, why am I doing this? I hate this. Okay. <laughs> why am I eating like this? This is coming up for someone who's watching. I don't know. That just came out. Um, why am I eating like this? I don't even want it. Right. And maybe that is some conditioning that you got when you were a child that this is how you eat. This is what's healthy. Finish your food. You know, all of that kind of stuff. So, uh, and then obviously other examples too. So this says new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. But that change in direction, it has to be something that is authentic to you. And that's where people get a little hung up because again, we get so told who we are, what we are, what we should be doing, what we should be saying, when you should feel ashamed, when you should feel proud, you know, all of that, that it's going to take a minute to break away from that, to, to finally look at your life and go, that's not the stuff that would make me happy. For me, quick example, lived in New York City, okay? Labels everywhere. I like nice things. I got a Taurus rising. I like pretty things, okay? <laughs> but I'm not about labels. They don't have to have a label. I just want them to be beautiful, good quality, good craftsmanship, you know, good, you know, good design, all of that. But the labels don't matter to me. So this is that sort of thing of, I'm not going to be judged because literally this happened in New York. And this is one of the big reasons why, there's so many reasons why I don't live there anymore. But this is one of the things I just couldn't tolerate anymore. Even people who had, who were middle-class people were saving their money up to get a designer handbag <laughs> for what, uh, for what? Because you're in New York and you have to have a designer handbag. And I'm talking, I'm not talking like, you know, mid to upper class kind of labels. I'm talking like, uh, like literally you just went in and spent three months worth of rent at least on that bag. Are you serious? You, you can't, you're driving a Honda. Like, what do you... <laughs> I don't know. It just, it's just a little weird to me. But this is that kind of thing where you might crack open and say, I don't care about having a designer handbag. I don't care about having material things. I don't care about that. I don't care about having a house in that area. I don't care. You know, you're, you're getting back in touch with what feels good, truly authentically good for you and going after that. For some of you, this is going and loving who you love, despite what anybody else has to say about it. All right. And that's beautiful. That's really beautiful because when we, there you go again with relationships, when we lay down what people want from us and we allow ourselves to love who we love, those world's going to be a better place for that. Why? Beautiful, true, loving energy coming together, compounding together. That's, that's a glorious, glorious light show going out into the universe. So just take that with you. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.